There are over 40 different cute and unique critters roaming around Disney Dreamlight Valley. Let's take a deep dive and teach you everything you need to know, including how to approach them, what their favorite foods are, and what dates and times they're available so that they can become your trusted companions. Welcome back everyone, it's Abdali here with more Disney Dreamlight Valley tips and tricks tutorial videos. Today's video is all about critters. You see them roaming around, but what if I told you that you can befriend them over a span of a few days and they can be selected from your menu to be a companion that follows you around? Yeah, that's right, I'll detail the easiest ways of obtaining all of them. As always, I appreciate the time that you're taking to watch the videos and tutorials, so if you have any ideas or other curiosities about Disney Dreamlight Valley topics, please let me know and I'll turn that into a future tutorial. In the meantime, check out our other tutorials that detail easy beginner's tips, easy money-making tips, and some world editor tricks that you may not know about. Let's start off with the availability of the critters. Now, each of the critters in the game have their own schedules of when they show up based on your local time. A great way to check that out is to open up the menu and click on the collection tab. Then scroll down to the critters and you'll see the entire list of all the critters and limited availability options. Most critters are available all day, while some of them have a certain window of availability. The screen doesn't exactly show what specific days they're available, so keep on watching this video here to learn their exact availability. Since each of these critters have their own schedules on local time, it may be tempting to adjust your system settings in order to time travel to a specific date or time. But this game is not made for that and you may end up glitching your valley. You have been warned. Just be patient and set alarms if need be. You're only able to feed a specific species once per day, so using this video to learn where to find each of the critters' favorite foods will be imperative. Likewise, each species has a favorite food, a food that they'll eat, and a food that they won't eat. Don't worry if you don't have access to their favorite foods all the time, just focus on feeding them something that they can eat every day. One quick tip about feeding is to leave a chest in a certain biome that holds a bunch of local critters' favorite foods. This way, you'll always have something on hand, so be sure to keep on replenishing that while you're out there trying to get every single one of that species. After a few days of feeding, typically three days worth, the critters will have enough friendship points for you to have them join you on your adventures. Simply open the menu, click on wardrobe, then click on companions. You'll then be able to choose from all the different befriended critters you've worked so hard to get. Now that you know the basics of critters, we're going to go into the specifics now, starting with squirrels. Squirrels are available in the plaza, and their favorite food is peanuts. Peanuts are sold in Remy's restaurant after unlocking him and doing his peanut quest within the restaurant. Other notable mentions for foods that the squirrels like are apples and blueberries, so if you don't have Remy unlocked, apples will do just fine. It's very easy to approach these little squirrels. All you have to do is walk up to them and then click on the approach button. Super simple. Let's go over the exact availabilities of when each of these squirrel species will be available to you to feed. Now the first one is going to be the black squirrel and he's going to be available all day Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and then specifically on Sunday for 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. The classic squirrel will be available all day Monday, Thursday, Saturday, and specifically in the window of Sunday, 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. The gray squirrel available all day on Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, and the small window of Sunday at 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. The red squirrel is going to be available all day Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and the window of 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. on Sunday. And the rarest of all the squirrels is going to be the white squirrel, only available on Sundays from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. Moving on to the next species is going to be rabbits. Rabbits will be found in Peaceful Meadow, and their favorite food is carrots. You can get carrots simply by buying them from Goofy Stand outright, or buying the seeds and growing your own. Approaching them is going to be a little bit difficult. You'll see that they want to play chase, so all you have to do is run after them a few times, typically about three or four times, and then they'll stop right in their tracks, and you can press the approach button. Now the specific availabilities for the rabbits are going to be as follows. There's the black rabbit that's available all day, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and limited availability on Sunday from 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. The brown rabbit is available all day Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, with limited availability on Sunday from 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. The calico rabbit, which is the rarest rabbit in the game, is only available in the small window on Thursday from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. 
The Classic Rabbit is available all day Monday, Thursday, Saturday, and limited window on Sunday from 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. And the White Rabbit is available all day Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, with the limited window of Sunday at 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. Next up is going to be sea turtles. You'll find them all over Dazzle Beach. Their favorite food is seaweed, which is found on the shores of Dazzle Beach or fishing in any water outside of any of the bubble circles. Simply approach them by walking up to them, and once they see you, they're going to retract into their shell. All you have to do is wait right there for them to come out of their shell and then walk forward a little bit more once they do so for the approach. Now we'll talk about the specific availabilities for every single one of them. The black sea turtle, which is the rarest of all the sea turtles, is available on Monday in the limited window of 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. The brown sea turtle is available all day Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and the small window on Sunday of 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. The classic sea turtle is available all day Monday, Thursday, Saturday, and the small window on Sunday of 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. The purple sea turtle is available all day Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and on Sunday from 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. The white sea turtle is available all day Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, and on Sunday only that small window of 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. Next up is going to be the raccoons found within the forest of valor. Their favorite food is blueberries, and you can find those easily throughout various bushes in the Dreamlight Valley. In order to approach the raccoons, you're going to have to play a game of red light, green light, and you'll have to pay close attention to their animations of when they're on their hind legs. Whenever they're on their hind legs, they will be able to see exactly where you are, and if you're moving while they do that, they're going to run away. So your strategy is when they're on their hind legs, you stop where you're at, and then you wait until they're done looking around, and then they crouch back down to normal. In that normal stance, you can take a couple steps forward until they raise their hind legs again. When they're on their hind legs, pause in your spot and then wait until the coast is clear. Rinse and repeat that until you're close enough and then press the approach button. The specific availability for all the raccoons is as follows. You've got the black raccoon available all day, Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, with limited availability on Sunday uh, from 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. The blue raccoon, which is the rarest raccoon in the game, is only available on Wednesday from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. The classic raccoon is available all day Monday, Thursday, Saturday, and limited availability on Sunday from 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. The red raccoon is available all day Monday, Wednesday, Friday, with limited availability on Sunday from 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. The white raccoon is available from all day on Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, with limited availability on Sunday, 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. Next up is the foxes found in the Frosted Heights. Their favorite food is white sturgeon found in the golden fishing spots within Frosted Heights. Other than that, they enjoy salmon, so feel free to fish for those right there. Their approach is going to be the exact same thing as the rabbits within the game. So if you're already familiar with that, you're going to be all set. All you have to do is chase them around three to four times until they stop, and then you can press the approach button. The availability for the foxes is as follows. You've got the black fox that's available all day on Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday with limited time on Sunday from 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. The blue fox is available all day Tuesday, Thursday, Friday with limited time on Sunday from 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. The classic fox is available all day Monday, Wednesday, Friday with limited time on Sunday from 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. The red fox, which is the rarest fox in the game, is only available on Saturday from 2 a.m. to 8 a.m. Good luck waking up for that one. The last one is going to be the White Fox, available all day on Monday, Thursday, Saturday, with limited time on Sunday from 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. Next up is the Crocodile. Ooh, the Crocodile found in the Glade of Trust. Their favorite food is lobster, which is found in golden fishing spots within the Glade of Trust. Other than that, they do enjoy herring or octopus. The approach is going to be the exact same thing as the raccoons within the game. So if you haven't already seen, it's going to be a game of red light, green light. You'll see them kind of stand up a little bit more whenever they're aware of you. So that's when you want to stop moving and stand in your place. Once they're done looking at you like that and they bring their head right back down, you could take a couple steps forward until they raise their head one more time. Rinse and repeat that and you'll get close enough to get the approach. 
As far as availability goes for the crocodiles, we're going to start off with the blue crocodile, available all day Monday, Wednesday, Friday, with limited time on Sunday from 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. The classic crocodile is available all day Monday, Thursday, Saturday, with limited time on Sunday from 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. The golden crocodile is available all day on Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, with limited time on Sunday from 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. The pink crocodile, which is going to be the rarest crocodile, is available with a limited time on Saturday from 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. The Red Crocodile is available all day Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, with limited time on Sunday from 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. Just like the Pink Crocodile, the White Crocodile is only available one day out of the week, which is on Sunday from 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. Next up is going to be the Sunbirds on the Sunlit Plateau. Now, their favorite foods are plants that are in the similar color to what they are. So keep that in mind as you go through with every specific variety. So case in point, an example for the Emerald Sunbird are typically green green flowers, like a green passion lily. The golden sunbird typically likes the yellowish flowers, like the sunflower. Red sunbird likes the red flowers, like the red bromeliad. The orchid sunbird likes orange flowers, like the orange house leek. The turquoise sunbird likes the pink house leeks or any kind of pink flowers. Now the approach for all these sunbirds is going to be very simple, just like the squirrels. All you have to do is walk right up to them and press the approach button. Let's talk about the availability for each of these sunbirds. The first one, the emerald sunbird, is available all day Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, with limited time on Sunday from 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. The golden sunbird is available all day Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, with limited time on Sunday from 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. The orchid sunbird is the rarest one, only available on Friday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. The red sunbird is available Monday, Thursday, Saturday, with limited time on Sunday from 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. And the turquoise sunbird is available all day Monday, Wednesday, Friday, with limited time on Sunday from 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. Next up is going to be the ravens within the game. As you can see on the companion list over here, the ravens are available, but they have yet to be programmed in the game at this time of recording. So swing on back to this video a little bit later and we'll add a pinned comment that'll tell you exactly where to find everything about ravens. And last but not least is going to be the five special companions that you can get within the game. Some of these are going to be limited, and some of them are going to be unlocked within friendship quests. The very first one is going to be Pua, the uh, little piggy over here. All you have to do is complete Moana's level 8 friendship quest, the search for Pua, and you'll be able to get that. The Incredis Squirrel is a limited time reward from the Pixar Fest event. Purchase it with 40 Moonstones in order to have it. If you're watching this and the Pixar Fest event is not available, you may have to wait until a re-release later on in the future to get him. Likewise, the Choco Crocodile is available only if you played the game once during the first week of Early Access. Again, if you didn't have that window of the first week of Early Access, you may have to wait until they re-release it a little bit later on in the future. The next two are going to be based off of which version of the Disney Dreamlight Valley Founders Pack you purchased. If you purchase the Deluxe Edition, you'll have access to the Celestial Sea Turtle. And if you purchase the Disney Dreamlight Valley Founders Pack Ultimate Edition, you'll then have access to the Regal Fox. And there you have it, everyone. It is the ultimate comprehensive guide for every single critter within Disney Dreamlight Valley. Did you learn something? Are you now going to set aside a couple of chests next to your wishing wells in order to stockpile a bunch of their favorite foods? Are you going to set some alarms on certain days of the week in order to get those rare critters? Let me know about it in the comments and we will continue the discussion. And as always, I thank you so much for enjoying all of the Disney Dream Light Valley content. Feel free to keep up with the streams or the tips and tricks tutorial videos by hitting that subscribe button. I'd love to have you. That's going to be it for me today. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.